The church has often been through tough times, but Jesus promised that the gates of hell would not prevail against her. Hello, I'm Father James Kabicki, and the saint whom we honor today lived in the 1300s during a time of great conflict. The Pope at that time lived not in Rome, but in Avignon, France, and as a result, a second Pope was elected. There were saints on both sides of this division, but one of them, the saint we honor today, did all she could to convince the Pope in Avignon to move back to Rome. Her name is Catherine of Siena, and she was made, along with St. Teresa of Avila, the first female doctor of the church by Pope Paul VI in 1970. Pope John Paul named her one of the patronesses of Europe in 1999, and when he did so, he said, Catherine was tireless in her commitment to resolving the many conflicts which afflicted the society of her time. She stressed the reform of morals to all, without exception. With the same vigor, Catherine addressed churchmen of every rank, demanding of them the most exacting integrity in their personal lives and their pastoral ministry. It is essential, she would say, to root out from the garden of the church the rotten plants and to put in their place new plants which are fresh and fragrant. And strengthened by her intimacy with Christ, the saint of Siena was not afraid to point out frankly, even to the Pope, whom she loved dearly as her sweet Christ on earth, that the will of God demanded that he should abandon the hesitation born of earthly prudence and worldly interests and return from Avignon to Rome to the tomb of Peter.